first on the ice, the oldest of the five competitors, 23-year-old Tonya Kwiatkowski, a recent graduate of Baldwin-Wallace College in the Cleveland area. She was struggling with this in the warm-up. Triple Lutz. Oh. Mandatory deduction. Next jump is the hardest one after a fall. Double axle out of the shade, into the sun. Single, another deduction. Tanya Kwiatkowski's highest national finish came in 1993. She was third and qualified for the World Championships in Prague, but once there, she didn't skate well and failed to make the finals. It was really a devastating experience for her and serves as kind of an impetus for her continued skating career. She wants to get back to the world level. Beautiful layback spin. She could help herself out a lot in the next jump. Nicole and Michelle both did triple jumps. In practice, she's been doing doubles. She doubles a flip. Very conservative, very safe. With two mistakes at the beginning of the program, you don't need any more deduction. She's in such great shape watching her practice the last couple days. It's a shame that she couldn't deliver the goods when she needed to, but all in all, she's set, I think set up for a fine year. Tanya Kwiatkowski from Cleveland, Ohio, where she has been coached for many years by Carol Heist Jenkins, skating to the music of the Firebird Sweet by Stravinsky. Such a shame. She is, as I said, in, in really good condition. The combination, it just looked like she was a little slow, and she's facing right into the sun. Not enough height to complete the rotation. You can see one, two, three, almost. She's right there, but her left toe comes down first, and I think that might have tripped her up. And a classic figure skating move, beautifully done by Tanya. Gorgeous layback spin. And as Tanya competed, Michelle Kwan has time to sign a couple of autographs and check out the competition. Safely ensconced right now in first place. Now the marks for Tanya Kwiatkowski. You can see the frustration on her face. She knows she can skate so much better than that, and she has been. Every time I see her on the ice, she's in shape, she's fit, she's ready. But it's on the night, it's on the day. It's, you know, you gotta be able to deliver the goods and that one triple lots I think cost you the entire performance. Disappointing mark. And the second set of marks needs for presentation. And they should go up. And they do. She's a beautiful skater, great program, well balanced, and even with the problems, nicely delivered. When we return to Sun Valley, a skater who had an Olympic experience she'll never forget. The final night of the Paris competition. And what a night it was for the U.S. team of Kiyoka Ina and Jason Dungeon. Look at her face. She's not too happy, is she? Well, they said they wanted to skate clean and make a name for themselves in this first Olympic experience.
they are normally not very expressive but they can't hide the joy today she's skating singles and you'll see kiyoka ina on the ice when we return <laughs> 